<laughs> oh my fucking god. The day is here. There's no more talking. There is no more talking to be done. The day is fucking here. <laughs> oh my god, it feels different. It's different. It hits different when it's race day. I'll tell you that much. Uh, my watch is off. Um, it's 6.30 in the morning, guys. I've just woken up. I've just had a quick shower. I've just had a quick coffee. Um, and, uh, well, the plan is to... Yeah, this is my true colour, guys. This is my true colour, not going to lie. Um, so, what I'm going to do now is, is, is pack up my hotel room. Um, I'm going to have a second coffee. I'm going to reduce my anxiety because yesterday guys I'm, I'm sorry I, I actually um I didn't even finish the video clip off I didn't finish the vlog the last thing you saw of me was going to get some lunch I came back here ate the lunch before I even got the camera out and then to be honest man I, I struggled with extreme anxiety yesterday I don't know if any of you guys out there that are getting ready for your first marathons have experienced that but that only came on last night that's it it did not come on b before that and that is simply because of the fact that I, I know, I realized that I had literally one more sleep. And I needed to make it a good one, which I have, and I'm happy about that. So, as far as fueling up, yesterday I ate two burgers, I ate a bowl of oats, I ate one banana, I ate a bowl of rice with baked beans, and I had a, quite a bit of water. So that is my fueling, that is my carbohydrate sources uh, for this race. I'm not going to take in any carbohydrates now. I'm going to stick to my, my guns, stick to my, my, um, stick to my ways of doing things, which is basically fuel up the night before, get up, make sure you go to the toilet, which has been done. A little bit too much information, but it's fucking important if you're going to go run 40Ks. Have my coffee, have some water, and uh, we'll, we'll see how we're feeling. So um, it's, it's nearly 6.30. The race begins at 8.20. The first shuttle bus leaves Queenstown at 6.45. The last shuttle bus leaves Queenstown at 7.25. So at this very moment, I have around about an hour, which includes a 15 to 20 minute drive into Queenstown. So at this very moment, I've got 40 minutes until the last shuttle bus leaves, including my drive there. So I think I've got, you know, a, a, a good 20 minutes to get ready and get out of the house. And that's what we're going to do. 20 minutes, no stress, get everything packed up nicely because after today, I'm actually not going to have a bed. I'm not going to have any accommodation. I'm going to be sleeping in my van tonight, wherever that may be. And that's, that's exciting, but it's quite daunting. And at the end of the day, I've got money. So if I do need somewhere to stay, I can pay for it. Okay, guys, here we go. November the 21st, 6.30 in the morning. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the video series, seven days out from my very first marathon. Today is D-Day. I'm about to run, I'm, uh, guys, I'm about to run uh, 16 kilometers further. God, my hands are shaking, I'm fucking nervous. I'm about to run 16 kilometers further than I ever have before. My furthest run, and I'm not sure that this is a good thing, was 26 kilometers on the flat. Today's 42. I don't know how it's going to go. I just need to finish. I want to finish not under four hours anymore because I did suss out some of the course yesterday and it is quite hilly. My goal, my goal guys, I'm going to say it right now, is to finish the 2020 Queenstown Marathon in five hours or under. I've said it now, that's my goal. I've got to show you this. So, this is my number, 1702. Fitting, you could say, MKP singlet that I'm going to stick that on the front of with my four green safety pins i am wearing my nzis shorts and i'm wearing my favorite i gotta say my favorite thermal uh, long sleeve so we've got shorts on the bottom we've got a long sleeve top on the on the top i do have to remember to put sunscreen on but this is going to make sure that I don't burn my, my body or my arms or my shoulders or anything like that. Final decision, which I honestly had severe anxiety about last night. In fact, the one thing I cannot fucking decide whether to do or not is to use my music, to take my music with me, to take my headphones. I actually had to confirm last night because I started looking at a few marathons and I saw race rules and some race rules said they actually can't use headphones due to, you know, safety reasons. And I thought about it for a while and... It's true. 
if your headphones are too high, you cannot hear anything. You've got no no awareness of your surroundings. So, so in a race like a marathon, you could definitely see why headphones are probably not the best thing. But I am going to take them down anyway. So, holy shit. I'm running out of time. I've got to get my number on. <laughs> and actually, I'll show you this one thing too. This is pretty cool. So, this is on the back of the number, which is some form of barcode. Uh, it's a timing chip. Timing chip. So uh, for anyone following along at home, I know this is going to be after the fact, but you could actually follow along my race, my whole race. They've got apps for these things now. They're absolutely epic. Anyways, guys, I'll see you at the start line. Right, guys. Okay. Guys, slight change of plan. I actually decided to drive myself to the start line. So I've got half an hour to relax now because it was getting way too fucking, way too rushed, way too flustered. It's not the way you want to be, especially not in scenery such as this. So I've decided to take it upon myself to drive to the start line. So I've got everything under control. The only thing is I'm going to have to get back here somehow to pick up my car. But I'm going to worry about that at the end of the race. Because we've got <laughs> we've got five hours of fucking mixed terrain running to do and I cannot wait to do it. I'm going to have a real opportunity to take in all of these surroundings while we run and I cannot wait. It's going to be epic. They call this the most beautiful marathon in the world. And it most probably is. So guys, I'm going to put my camera down now. I'll pick you back up when we finish. And I'm going to let you guys know. It's 7.47 in the morning, November the 21st. I've done 1,058 steps. And I've burnt 749 calories. So let's see. Let's see what those numbers are like at the end of this race. <sighs> been looking forward to this for a long time. This last week has been enjoyable. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I have. And I'll see you guys at the end. Let's do this. Right, you guys. What is going on? Welcome back. Welcome back to a, another clip. Not another video. This is the day. This is the race day video, man. Race day vlog. We did it. Okay, as you can see, still got my number on. But I'm happy to say, regardless of what the time is, because I don't actually know what the time was yet. I'll check that. Uh, but regardless of the time, I did finish. I got myself a medal. And I'm proud of myself. I had to push through, man. I had to push through stages there that I've never fucking done before. Cramp. I, I okay, I've never ran more than 27 kilometers. At the 30 kilometer mark, pretty much on, on schedule, at the 30 kilometer mark, I got hit with the worst cramps I've ever had in my life. And I spent the last 12 kilometers of the race trying to push through that. I'll tell you right now, the most frustrating thing one of the most frustrating things I've ever felt, actually, was on that race, that very race. The fact that my lungs and my legs felt fine to continue running, even after three hours of it. But the cramp did not allow me to do that. I'd take three steps and I'd fucking pull up. I'd take another four steps, I'd fucking pull up. It was actually embarrassing. And at the end of the day, I walked for five kilometers because I thought that I couldn't push through. Then I went through another aid station, I took in some electrolytes, I took in some more water, and I tried to test the cramp. Over the last, over the last 7Ks of the race, I tried to test it. I did manage to, you know, get the feet ticking over. If the cramp came on, I honestly just pushed through. I pushed through the pain, guys. I pushed through the risk of injury because I wanted to finish, and I wanted to finish in under five hours. And I think we fucking did that. So. I can see my car now, thankfully. And, uh, see, there you go. That's what it's all about, man. That is what it's all about. It's all about the camaraderie. Rugby's about the camaraderie. Bodybuilding's about the camaraderie. Running a fucking marathon's about the camaraderie. And I'll tell you what, there's a lot of it around here. It's been awesome, man. It has been absolutely awesome. This is exactly where I left you guys before we started at at about 8 10 a.m. this morning it's now three o'clock I've done 50,601 steps I've burnt 6,000 calories it's been quite the day but it's been an enjoyable day 
So I'm going to put the camera away and I'll see you guys at the car where I charge my phone for one and check on the app, check on the uh, the marathon app exactly what my time was because because I tell you what guys, if if with all those problems I had with the cramp, I was still able to get I'm going to say 4 hours 45 minutes. I will be absolutely stoked because to get that, like there was a point there where I wasn't actually going to get under 5 hours and I thought fuck that man, I need to push. I don't give a shit man. This cramp, oh my god, my legs. My legs are pretty sore man. But it was buzzy, I'll tell you what happened. Okay, so we started from like 800 meters in there, came all the way out, around this corner, and down here. And uh, that's my car just there, so. Five minutes into the race, I was passing my own car that I just parked. And I thought that was quite a buzzy thought. And then, look, I don't know if you guys watched yesterday's video where I tried to suss out the course. It's not flat. It's not flat whatsoever. Uh, I surprised myself with how I motored up some hills. The hills were subtle. In fact, I asked a very experienced marathon runner, how would you describe those hills that we did? And she said, subtle in a word. So we had some subtle inclines, which I fucking killed until that 30 kilometer mark. So anyways guys, we're back at the van, three o'clock in the afternoon, 6,000 calories burnt, and uh, oh, shit, man. I think it's just time to sit down and reflect, sit down and relax, get this time, and I'm going to share my time with you guys. And uh, that'll be it for today's video. My very first marathon. What an experience. All right. Uh, I don't know where my car charger is. In fact, I don't think I brought it with me. So I can't charge my phone, which is kind of annoying. But I've just laid down here in my van and, uh, well, it's not bad. It's really not, you know. What do we need in life? Not much. Not much at all. Just a few goals, a few challenges to, to keep us keep us busy and family, friends and there really is only one one thing missing from my life right now, guys. One thing that I know is missing, it's been missing for a long time, and that is a loving partner. That is a loving, supporting partner that, that is on my level, on my vibe. And we complement each other. The last few years, you know, I've, I've thought it's going to happen, but it just hasn't for whatever reason. I've got my two girls in Australia, but I'm not with the mother. I'm single. And all these challenges, all these things that I achieve, you know, they're, they're all good, but only to a certain extent, you know. Only to a certain extent, and I'll say that again. Because when you've got a partner to share things with, the highs are doubled. And the lows are halved, right? So happiness is doubled and grief is halved with a real supportive partner. And to be honest, guys, I think I'm talking shit now. I feel like I, I should probably put the camera down and see you guys whenever I see you because I can't look at my phone right now. So I don't know exactly what the time was yet. But when I do, I'll let you guys know. Okay, bye. I think I've... <laughs> I think I've just, I think I've just, just realised what's, what I've actually just done. I fucking ran a marathon today. The only time, man, the only time throughout that whole entire race that I ever actually got out of breath was when I jacked my own heart rate up by accident because I started crying. I got really emotional at certain times throughout that race and I'm sure a lot of these racers do. If I've got reasons that they're racing for and when they're reminded of that, for whatever reason throughout the race you know these these tears come and, and my re my reason for racing guys was for my kids my two children and for a friend of mine that passed away earlier this year alex Payne. he was 34 years of age he passed away due to brain cancer and he he was always one of the biggest supporters of me and everything i did everything i did whether it was bodybuilding, rugby, 
Major Key Physiques, YouTube. He was on my vibe, man. And he, he, he lost his life far too early. And I haven't had to deal with friends of mine losing their lives um, until Alex did. He's the only one that I've, I've lost. And he was a great friend. And I dedicated this run, my very first marathon, to Alex. I hope you're proud up there, mate. All right, last thing I'm showing you, I promise. But have a look at this. I'm just sitting here. This is completely involuntary, probably about an hour post, post race. But my calves are still, still cramping. So can you imagine trying to run on trails with fucking calves that are cramping like that? It was, it was pretty terrible. What's this one like? Oh no, I've just gone and done it. I've just gone. Ow! Oh god damn! Look at that shit. Okay. Stop. Stop now. I actually can't move. Not sure what's happened. I've lost the ability to stand. Oh, guys, you know what? You know what I thought? One other thought. <laughs> Just why I'm lying here. One other thought was I wish this was called the Major Key Physiques Queenstown Marathon. Just a thought. That is one. That is one shredded fucking calf. I'll give. I'll give myself that. I will give myself that. That's one shredded calf. And that is one cramping calf. Guys, I don't actually want to move. I really don't want to move because this is what I'm surrounded with. Like, I could. I literally, well, I could. I mean, effectively, I could. If I wanted to. I could camp right here, but I'm not going to. All right, this is as real as it gets, man. <clears throat> as real as it gets. Um, I'm on my way home. I decided to jet out of Queenstown. No pun intended, as there are lots of jet boats around Queenstown. Decided to leave. I'm going to drive back to Christchurch today. There's plenty of daylight, so you know, if it was a couple hours later, I probably would have stayed in Queenstown for one more night. But meh, it's all good. I've driven long distances many times before and I, I, I do feel capable even though I've run a marathon this morning but I, I've, I've shed a tear, I have shed a tear, um, I've just put up my post on Instagram and Facebook about the race and you know thank God, thank God my phone had enough battery for me to press stop on Strava and for me to take one selfie at the finish line, thank the Lord. And then it fucking went flat. So I got one selfie and uh, you know I spent about half an hour just sitting here by the water on the way home probably about an hour out of Queenstown just thinking about my caption thinking about what I wanted to write because um, you only get one one chance one shot and uh, yeah man so this is fuck this is another nice setting beautiful setting just outside of Cromwell, which is a place I stopped on the way here. Okay, so basically I looked at my time. I ran just under five hours. I got 4.55.44. Four hours, 55 minutes and 44 seconds. And um, to push through, to push through the cramp, like to push through and get that time with the cramps I was going through, took some fucking digging. Or else I would have got like 5.05, 5.10, 5.15, and I would have been gutted with that. I wanted to get under 5 hours and I fucking did it, so I'm stoked with that. Um, what can I say? What can I say? It's been a journey. It's been a journey the last week. It's only been 7 days since I started this vlog series. It seems crazy. But for anyone who has followed along the whole entire thing, for anyone who is looking at doing their, their first marathon, for anyone that competed in this marathon, for anyone that's competed in any marathons in the past, for anyone that's want, for anyone that wants to stick around this community, for anyone that wants to stick around my channel for any length of time, please do. I urge you to subscribe. There's always new content on this channel. Um, if you didn't notice, I'm wearing Major Key Physiques, MKP. I wore it throughout the whole entire marathon and I wore it proud. And I can tell you, I can safely say that there were thousands, literally thousands of eyes that got set on on uh, MKP today because I wore it. 
and a few people even yelled out MKP so you know it's not as if they know what the brand is but if they see it again then they'll put two and two together hopefully so fuck man what a day uh, what do you do man what do you fucking do it's times like these in solitude when you've achieved a goal that you set out to do and no one else said that you should do it no one else pushed you to do it no one else really gives a fuck to be fair it's an internal thing it's a challenge and i thrive on challenges and we just did another one i ran my very first marathon in, in just under five hours and uh i'm proud of myself i'm gonna take you inside because i'm not I'm still not sure what the capabilities of the uh, microphone are on this Canon G7X Mark III that I just got. But uh, guys, I'm going to go now. I've, uh, honestly, I don't know what I don't know how long this this vlog's going to be. These last few days, you know, I've I've definitely filmed a lot. I've felt, you know, I felt inspired to film, and it's a good feeling. It really is. I don't know what the next challenge is going to be, but I feel like it's going to be around something to do with martial arts. And just leave it with me. I'll let you guys know as soon as I do. Peace out, guys. Thank you so much for all your support. This was Jacob McDonald signing out from just outside Cromwell in uh, the South Island of New Zealand. Peace out, guys. Have a fucking great day. I've been, I've been working till the morning, yeah. yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like it's Jordan on my way. Broom, broom, tell him I'm out my lane, I've been praying. Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same. I don't need another person telling me.